Hey guys, so it's me again, and I haven't made a video in a long time, so I decided to make a new video. And today's video is going to be on how to make Windows 8 faster. It's pretty similar to my last video on how to make Windows 7 faster. And if you haven't seen that, you know, go check that out. I'm going to be doing this on the Windows 8 Consumer Preview, as you can see right here. Uh, the evaluation copy, build 8250. Uh, I'm doing it right now on the Consumer Preview, but, you know, even when the full version comes out, I'm pretty sure that all of these steps will remain the same, so you can still do that on the full version of Windows 8 when it comes out next year. So let's begin. First step you're going to do is you know go launch up your web browser. You know, go to ccleaner.com. It's going to redirect you, and you know you're going to be on paraform.com, and you're going to hit download and you're going to download CCleaner. It's a free program. It doesn't have any you know, viruses or anything. Uh, you can download it from pitofon.com right here and you know it's going to download and you're going to install it I already have it installed so I'm not going to go through that except you're going to launch it up and you know uh, CCleaner is a great little great program it's a disk cleanup kind of program disk management program uh, so the cleaner here is you know it gets rid of internet cache Get sort of your history, cookies, all that stuff that you know takes up space in your hard drive from websites. Uh, the registry cleaner cleans up you know stuff that applications leave behind after they get uninstalled. All that stuff that you know locks it down. But what we're, we're going to be focusing on today is the tool section under startup. Uh, as you can see, there's a lot of entries here for startup. Most of them are grayed out because I've already disabled them, but a uh, big thing that influences your boot up time for you know all computers is how many startup entries you have in your boot and if you have a lot of startup entries your boot's going to take a long time so what you want to do is you want to you know click the one that you don't want to enable you know things that you don't need things like you know the itunes helper or adobe aam updater you know if i need those i'll start those later on i don't need them as soon as my computer starts up so you know you can hit you know hit it and you're gonna hit disable or enable if you want to enable it again and that's gonna disable it from running when your computer starts up. So you're gonna go through that, you can disable all the things that you don't want, and that's gonna make a very noticeable impact on your startup time. Okay, so our next step is we're going to disable some of the visual effects that Windows 8 has. You know, a lot of people like how it looks. I'm one of those people who do, but if your system is being slowed down by the visual effects, you know, things like uh, things fading into view, windows you know, fading in and out, stuff like that, then you might want to disable it because it actually does have a noticeable toll on the performance. So what you want to do is you want to go to the bottom left corner here where the start uh, metro page preview pops up. You know, right click it and that's going to give you this little menu right here. You're going to go to control panel here. You can go to system and security, system, and go to advanced system settings over here. And then you're going to go to the advanced tab page up at the top. And under performance, you're going to hit settings. And right here is where you decide, it's like all the visual processes that Windows has. And a lot of these look really nice, but you don't really need these. So things that you don't need would be things like you know animate animation. So if you really want to go all the way, adjust for best performance or uncheck everything. Or you know if you hit apply, it still looks pretty good, but it's just not as good. And if you want to keep you know the basic Windows 8 look, but then still get rid of some of the you know the extras. And that take up a lot of performance. Uncheck all of them, but then leave in enable arrow peak, enable transparent glass, beta slide menus in the view. Uh, don't worry about it right now. Everything will be in the description. Uh, show thumbnails of setup icons. Uh, show windows contents while dragging. Smooth edges of screen fonts and use drop shadows of for icon item labels on desktop. And you can hit apply. And as you can see, you know everything looks nice. Everything's more or less the same. It's just that some of the little things are, that take up you know, RAM and processing power are unable, disabled. So yeah, 
you're going to do that if you really want performance. Uh, so last up, we're going to disable some of the services that we don't need. Uh, I made a little list of them that you know most people, hardly anyone uses that you can safely disable. Uh, and as always, everything will be in the description. So what you want to do is you want to hit the Windows key, or you want to go to the bottom left corner and left click it. You're going to start typing services.msc and that you know little search bar right here. Extra S then, and you hit enter. You wait for that to come up. This is like your little services manager, and basically what you want to do is you want to go through the whole list, and you want to find the services that I have here, and you're going to like the internet connection sharing. You can select it. You're going to right click it. You're going to hit copies, and then in the startup type right here, you're going to set it to disable. And that's gonna make and all these services, you know, hardly anybody uses them. And if you have them running, they're obviously gonna have a noticeable impact on performance. But as always, double check yourself before you disable anything. Like if you actually do use Bluetooth with your computer, as some people do, leave the Bluetooth support service on because without it your Bluetooth isn't gonna work. So always, you know, read the description over here and make sure you really don't need it before you disable it uh, yeah so that was my little guide on how to make Windows 8 faster uh, the most important thing to keep your system running fast is really you know don't install too many unnecessary programs make sure your startup is you know not too full and then make sure that you don't have a lot of you know visuals and stuff going on in the background. And if all that still doesn't work, then your computer's probably you know a little old, and you might be needing some RAM or a new CPU or something like that. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial, and I hope that your Windows 8 is running faster. So that's it for me. I hope I get a new video up sooner than last time. And yeah, see you later, guys. Thanks.